Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl, Debbie from Dunga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, special welcome. Those of you who were there with me from the beginning of this journey and you're still here, manners and respect. On today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, I'll be sharing with you um, some oven made steaks along with some mashed potatoes. So I'll be doing some seasoning up right here. So right inside here, I add some garlic and cloves, all cloves that I was beating to come to a paste. So this is my first seasoning. I'm going to be doing it in the oven as I said. And I'm going to be seasoning it. Show you how my season. You can do it how you want to do it. I have here three pounds of um, shoulder steak. And shoulder steak, of course, it does have a little bone inside there. I mean, honestly, like my meat with a little bone inside of it. What about you? So this was like six pegs of garlic and um and some old cloves. Mm? Yeah. The next thing I'm going to be putting in is some scallions. And I'm going to do it, chop it off, freehand. So if you are use yours, you can do it or you want to do it. Freehand, chopping off for scallions. As a Jamaican, you know, say, I always like a few little pieces of scotch bonnet. And I have some fresh thyme here. I'm going to try to take off some of the leaves. I'm going to try to keep wet. From the stalks in this dish. Hmm? For three pounds, I think I have a good enough. I am going to be using some of this um the steak seasoning. All dried herbs. Three pounds, remember I told you. A steak must have it is dried, so I think made us all go a little extra low cilantro dried and with um with steak family most times i try to mix dry and green herbs to my steak i don't know what about you dry and green put together i don't know i just see if i get a nicer flavor my special basil dried basil mm -hmm. a little chips of salt because i'll be making a marinade and I'll be using some other stuff, so a little soy sauce. So I'm gonna go too hard with the, with the salt right now. Okay, I'm gonna be putting in some of this ginger spice. It's just all powdered ginger, but I'm not putting not all it. I'm just gonna put like probably a quarter of a teaspoon of it. And this is what I'll be doing right now, right here. I'm gonna get this kind of rubbing this is supposed to be done <clears throat> overnight 24 hours we get you know the flavors but oh me can do my rub yeah and i'll be putting in some soy sauce not too much at the first car no one might see come with some color can i put it in the oven you know and i'll brown it you know, so we need some color for go in at the oven pan it. Yes, I'm seasoning. If you know anything about seasoning a meat, 
talk to me now family i told you i was not gonna brown this meat i'm gonna just do it straight in the oven and you see i'm catching a color on it from now so if you know nothing about seasoning a meat talk to me so this is what i'm gonna do with it and i'm gonna cover it up i'm gonna continue rubbing this in for another pretty good minute though off camera and i'm gonna have them all layered and i'm gonna leave it in the refrigerator for about one hour me want this to my dinner so i ain't got time i didn't get to marinate it over night and i'll then sit in there so look here in the next clip we'll be ready to put this thing in the oven mind you i'm gonna be making some mashed potatoes with it so come along for the ride next clip i have my casserole on the stove top I could do it too in the oven, but I do it on the stove that I melt my butter in there. You could also melt it in your microwave and put it in there. So I get some belt butter melt and come like, you know, kind of little heated. And then in the next clip, you see me laying or start, you know, spreading out my, my steak in there because we're going to be using the oven. I've repreated my oven to 190 or about 375, 380 there about or something like that. So that's what I'm doing, getting this butter all heated up on top of my stove, yeah? So enough to cover the bottom of this casserole. Yes. Family, that's what I'm doing. So this is it. I mean, I want it come like a little eat. See, it having a little eat coming up. And all of that, I want to put it in there, all that coal and so forth. Okay? This is my seasoned steak. And I'm going to start layering them in that little warm butter with all the seasonings. And it's thin, shoulder steak, some have in bones, some doesn't have it. You have gotten the picture there, so I lay them out flat. That then can get them thing going. Remember, so when it cook a meat, it I go shrink. Laying them out in that warm butter and all of that on top of the stove right here. All seasoned. So in the next clip, I'm going to cover with foil paper and I'm going to put it in the oven and I'll tell you for how long. properly wrapped yeah into the oven we go right now 190 if your stove is a bit slow you can go 200 okay in we go for about one hour after that i return okay now family my steaks have been in for it's almost time for me to look at them now so i'm gonna be making a tambourine flavored sauce you know how we put it in we want a little sauce for okay, kinda so this is from the Jamaican mukbang and vlog. We got the Jamaican. These are all herbs like tambourine and herbs and all sorts of something. So I'm going to use this as a thickener. And I'm going to put to it some balsamic vinegar. You know, balsamic vinegar, it has the nice taste there. And you know, a steak, you can't go wrong with that. So I'm going to put about a tablespoon. You know, I go too much. Making mess right there. And you know, this is the with sister shares pronounce it all you want i think this is good enough yeah so i'm gonna get this i'll combine now come back so guys this is what we have as you can see we're almost there almost so tender and juicy you don't want them break up but i'm trying to get them all turned over but what i want to do at each end I want to put some of this because this is gonna give it that sauce that thickening so i want to put it at the four ends mm -hmm. as you see when i have liquid 
because we don't want it to come out hard that so i'm gonna put it at the four ends spoon some you see it's pulling away from the bone family so you see we have it all going on right there so this sauce now you have got to take a little time and you have to make sure say you turn it over get it into the sauce this is what we're putting in there this is like a little marinade for it so you want to scrape all of this goodness inside there And by the way, family, I did up my, 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 my oven to 200 from 190. So I'm going to return it to the oven now. And what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be lowering it for another about 30 minutes there about in there. So you see, this is what we have. Yep. Up to you what you want to do. Yep. So you want to use this. You see it already? Yes, it's like it's just that. Yeah. Okay, so I have some bell peppers, fam. Yeah. To get that little bell pepper flavor, let me tell you. I always tell you about um, beef and bell peppers. Them go well. I may have some onions. You know, you can use what you want. Some carrots would be good right there, too, if you bring it up. Mm -hmm. I have lowered my, flame, my temperature over there on my oven. A red and, and yellow, no, red and orange would be good right here. So I've layer, um, lowered my flame and my oven to 180 there. I'm going to cover it so this, see the consistency of the sauce. So I don't want it to um to be in there. More 15 or 20 minutes the longest because I don't want my sauce to dry up. I want my sauce to put my mashed potato right here. I have gone ahead and I have cooked my potatoes. And they are there. We just need a little bit of water. So I'm going to put it in the oven shove it in the oven come back mash those potatoes with you so this is what is happening yeah so family whilst my steaks is inside the oven on the simmering i cannot find my potato masher i have only one may i try my best i'm under low heat here i may have some um may dry out the water i have some milk and butter here coming to heat up may i eat up my milk i may eat up my butter I don't want anything to too cold going down in there. I'm just put a little, just a little. I'm gonna try to make do with this um whisk. So you ever try to make do family? So we're just doing it a little at a time. Because I was gonna mash my potatoes, but me I mash it with this. That me can't find potato masher. Now stop me from mash my potato. So you see I'm getting there, don't worry about it. I'm gonna get it all mashed out yeah we are jamaican and now we are old timer so we can do so i'm gonna turn off the heat because the heat under here is i have heat under here it's really low all right you see my butter come my milk come together so i'm gonna do it just like this a little milk a little milk and butter and the mash i'm gonna go along come on. i forget it when i want it so soon come fam so family i'm still here you see me coming to come yes a little more milk and a little more butter yeah i think that should be okay i'm on the low heat i did find my potato masher dad found it but look here marie so far with this and it's looking good in dad yeah man look good come in family yeah you have to learn you know yeah make things stop you mm -hmm. so what i'm gonna do now I'm gonna let it cool down right here see me i want it some people love it all that smooth i don't want it all too smooth so you mash it to oh you love it i think that's fine for me so i'm gonna turn the flame down and i'm gonna let it cool down a bit because i'm gonna be um whipping in a few spoons of mayo and then i will be putting some thyme leaves on it so in the next clip that uh, that should be all done i'm gonna like plate up something just for you so semi cool down now and i'm gonna be adding about maybe two spoons of this and then we will see if i fit add a third so that's my mayo yeah eat a little and a sour cream taste coming out of the sour cream so i'm gonna fold in the mayo right around with my whisk and you can see the difference you see the creaminess you see the extra look yeah 
fold it in properly wow and it's good the salt is good because i cooked the potatoes with a little salt and the butter as in some salt so this it's good the salt yeah so you want to fold in now really fall in right here you want to fall in your meal good and proper so next clip family food i go ready So guys, this is all finished. I'm just going to use a little clad of gravy, because you know, gravy and mashed potato, it does everything. So this is our gravy, and I just chose to put my stuff at the top. So I'm gonna go clean up and return to present to you. Okay, family, plated and presented from my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your palate, and most of all, to your stomach. It is my tambourine flavored oven steak, and I did it with some mashed potatoes just for you. Please do enjoy. Remember, family, Father's Day is coming up, and you just want little ideas and all of that. Not too much, everything is okay. Just a nice glass of fruit juice, or better yet, some water will do the trick. Remember to make sure that you like my videos. Remember to make sure that you're subscribed. When you subscribe, click the notification bell to the right of the bell. Press the option that says all. All my info will be in the description of this and all my other videos and lies. Remember to be you, do you, and have you some steak and potatoes.